And if we get a little bit of an ump here, of course we got that, oh, with a little bit of torque steer there. Now this thing goes pretty nice. It goes nice. It got plenty of power, easily gets up to speed. Good morning everybody welcome back to peter's auto Vlog. this is peter hope everybody had a fantastic holiday season in today's video we're going to get behind the wheel of this 2024 ford bronco sport madlands but before we go on i want to give a big shout out to barto ford for allowing me some time with this bronco sport a big thank you to tim and i'll put all their information in a link to the website in the description below so ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Balance. Now this model that we have with us here is a top of the line trim for this Bronco Sports. As you know, the Ford Bronco Sport has been with us since about 2021. This is kind of its third year in existence. And uh, this is, there are some changes for 2024 that Ford has done, as I'll mention also in a few moments. But come around, as you can see, I always love the styling of this Ford Bronco Sport. As you know, Ford Bronco Sport shares the chassis with the Ford Escape and also the Ford Maverick. I think it's probably one of the Ford's best little sellers. Uh, it's like a miniature Range Rover in terms of this came out got the safari roof here in the back we get a two-tone roof as well this is done in black this body color here is finished off in desert sand which is a brand new color for 2024 the basically right. the hatch over here this basically space into two the upper upper window and the whole hatch uh, this is basically comes with just a regular hatch they don't have any type of uh, powered assistance on this hatchbacks the way that this especially in this balance model you got those off-road tires which gives, gives a little more of an aggressive tone of off-road you know ability so this is really cool now obviously for 2024 as i mentioned there are some changes uh, going back to the trims here just a little bit here this is basically the balance models there are basically about five trims to this bronco sport lens the base model has been dropped for 2024 now the basically the bid bend is your starter trim they'll start around just over thirty one thousand dollars i'll put those numbers for you guys up on this up on the screen this one here being the balance model you're looking closer to the forty thousand dollar mark this one here that we have with us is just over forty one thousand dollars we'll check out the the uh the build sheet in just a few moments but this is a really cool one here now so i mentioned going back to the mod to the 2024 changes this one here is one of the changes this color is called desert sand this is a brand new color for 2024 also for 2024 we got another color called asher gray also for 2024 you can get a black appearance package as well that's a brand new appearance package for this model you can i don't think the balance model is available with that package but the other trim should be available with that blackout or that black appearance package basically the new trim that's also for 2024 is that for basically freewheeling model or that freewheeling trim which is a cool it's a really cool 70s based uh kind of color theme and basically package basically more of a color theme and appearance package theme that you can get for this bronco sports i did i did do a video just recently in my channel if you want to browse it just a quick walk around video of that the way that's basically it's done but really that's a really one of the coolest trims that, that ford has done i wish ford offered that trim with the two liter engine as this is basically the only trim this bronco sport badlands is the only trim you can get with the two liter uh turbocharged engine the other one you can get of course the other uh, the other bronco sports are only available with a 1.5 liter uh three cylinder turbocharged engine which is a pretty good decent power for every day but it is a little bit uh not as smooth of an engine as this one is here and this has got much more power i think this is probably the best engine you can get for the ford bronco sport. so for this ford bronco sport balance model what do you get well let's check it out here a little bit closer as you can see get into this color really awesome the way this desert sand color looks especially with this off-road themed uh, bronco sport we got that grayish grill here in the front with okay. the white letter we got led uh, headlights we got led also the daytime running lights here as you can see we got here the led fog light here as well so as you can see we also have some black tokus here as well that's part of the balance model we also have underneath here a uh, skid plate for all the drive trim and also for the gas tank as well on this balance model as you can see it's pretty cool i really love the way this front is looked we also have active grill shutters here on this one depending on the speeding what the engine needs i come here to the, the front of this ford bronco sport balance as you can see we got this 28 point 
1.5 inch Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. A little more aggressive tire. This is basically an option for this Ford Bronco Sport Badlands. You can get a little more aggressive tire. This comes with a 17 inch dark gray wheel, which is really nice. Now, in terms of the suspension for this Bronco Sport, these are an inch higher than the regular Bronco Sports. This has got a little more stiffer springs and shocks combined with the, of course, the twin disc, the differential that you can get in here in the back. Kind of really cool, basically an advanced off-road system that this Ford Bronco Badlands. There's a little Badlands bash right there, as you can see, which is pretty cool here done in a little bit of a basically yellow which is really nice black mirrors as you can see guys here coming around really cool the way this black handles of course we got the safari roof okay, here with the, the roof rails this, this is basically the same drive change you can get you get in the ford maverick tremor you got that kind of very unique to a twin disc or twin clutch rear differential that's like, really really cool the way that it's a very very uh it's a lockable rear all that kind of stuff it's really really nice all that uh technology that ford gives you for this half road capable bronco coming here to the back guys with led tail lights we got of course also this is also quick with the tow hitch already ready to go your tow receiver bronco sport here and done in white i really love the way this is so okay coming here in the back there's two ways you can open up we got basically the part over here you press the button you can open up the upper glass portion here of the hatch which is really cool you can just grab it here a bag or something you just put something really quick here which is a really cool uh, designed to this feature to this bronco sport which is very similar to the Ex expedition as well and you can go ahead and open up the here on the side and open up the whole hatch as you can see there this, of course we got a reverse camera here as well you can see there we go glass and door now this one here you cannot get any type of power for these hatchbacks here on this bronco sports kind of basically this the way it is we do have some led lights here on the top as well as you can see there and you can turn them on there's a button here on the side here if i'm correct where you can turn on your lights like yourself. there's a button right there for your lights which is really cool for camping or something like that as this most of these things are kind of designed to uh to just go camping so as you can see guys we got a couple of grab handles here on the top now coming here i believe we get about 29 cubic feet of space here in the back i'll put all those numbers for you guys up on the screen if i'm off a little bit uh, of course here we got your optional rubber floor mats that come with this this package and uh also if we go down here guys we have a biscuit almost a full size spare tire this is not the fucking uh off-road tire but very 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 similar basically like any 17 inch wheel as well here we got a little bit more space here on the bottom as you can see to put some things we got a lot of hooks and of course we got some more led lighting we do have a 12 volt connection here and we also have a house connection here which is pretty cool this is part of the package for this uh this bronco badlands that's really cool the way this is so we got some hooks and that kind of stuff and you can also put a tray here as well there's some calls all kinds of neat things you can do to this or you can option off basically by ford accessories as well for this ford bronco sport which will go for the seats to go down as well um i don't see the way you can do them from here but you got to do them manually through the front here as you can see but it's really cool really plenty of space for this bronco sports even though it's a little much smaller same size as a ford escape but this one here is a little higher for sure the way it is but really cool the way to this uh ford bronco sport rear now of course as you can see we do have a receiver hitch ready to go i believe this one can tow about 3500 pounds with this engine option with the two liter engine kind of the same as in ford escapes as well so but all right guys there we go let's drop this off and uh Hey, let's really go and cool check the out the engine what's powering this ford bronco sport bat let's go ahead and raise the hood there is no assistance no hydraulic assistance but you just have to grab your little bit of hood rod here and just put it here insert it where this is indicated so here we have the two liter inline four ecoboost turbocharged engine this is producing 250 horsepower 277 pound feet of torque this is going to an eight speed automatic transmission and of course this is going through the advanced 4x4 system that this ford bronco badlands has uh, of course as i mentioned this is the uh one of the best things you can get unfortunately this engine is only available in this badlands model i wish ford would option it or even as an option put it in the other uh trim especially like the free willing model or even the heritage model you can, you can you should be able to get this engine but unfortunately this, they do not give you that option then there is no hybrid version of this uh power or the other power plant available in this ford bronco sports basically the only engine the other engine you can get is the 1.5 liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine which has got plenty of everyday power but it is a little rougher on the edges in terms of the way it wraps and everything but this is probably the best thing you can get but of course you have to go to this badlands model to get this engine but all right so here we go this is your power plant for this 2024 ford bronco sport balance let's go ahead and just drop the hoodie here put the little rod back in its place and there we go and ladies and gentlemen before we head inside let's go ahead and take a look at the decal or the build sheet on this ford bronco sport now there's a little bit of reflection hello everybody um, i'll put this uh this little thing a little bit better quality on the screen for you guys but if we have a 2024 ford bronco badlands 4x4 
this one is done in Destro Sand with the Ebony Area 51 unique black cloth that this one has here. The only options on this one here that we have for with us here, we have the $525 uh, dollar with the, the upgrade to the Falcon all-terrain tires. We got the cargo mat, which is $130. We also have the glass class two trailer tow package for $590. Front and rear splash guards to $20. As you can see, it's got this, the mud, mud guards or the splash guards there, as you can see. And uh, no less, but that's basically that's it for this one here. The total, the total price is forty-one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars for this Ford Bronco Sport Balance. Now obviously, this you can get the optional sunroof and a little more accessories, but basically that's about it. You can have maybe forty-two thousand dollars, a little forty-three, if you really spec out a Ford Bronco Sport Balance with everything, with all the accessories, the sunroof, and that's basically as much as you can get. Okay, let's go ahead Bronco. and take a quick look at the interior of this Ford Bronco Sport Balance. Now, as you can see, one this one here is equipped with the dark cloth interior with the blue area 51 accents as you can see right there. this is kind of the accents you get with this bronco sport with as you can see we got a little bit of a really interesting pattern here to this plastic here trim it does feels really nice but it is hard plastic nonetheless here we have a bit of softer materials here for your elbow and a little more storage pressure in the bottom for the door now coming here to the interior as you can see we got this black cloth seats are really nice it's a really nice and rugged as you can see really feel good got a bit of a light gray stitch in there as you can see that's really part of this trim what do we love about this one here you got a bit of also a bit of vinyl a leatherette what you call here as well or active x what ford calls it really cool but the combination here as you can see guys we also have a bit of that a blue accent here that area 51 accent that's really cool now these seats do come down here pressing the button here and you can put the seats all the way down here as well as you can see there that's really awesome and uh let's go ahead and before coming here yes we do have also a center armrest as well with some cup holders that's really cool the way it is you can put this up here for your third or middle passenger and let's go ahead guys and go inside and check out the bit of the room so inside of this ford bronco sport balance as you can see i really love the seating here this is really cool the way this is we got basically some zippers here you can open up and do a lot of storage here we've got both of them on both seats here unique storage places here you can put some camera here or some something here it's really cool the way this is i really love the way the seats kind of feel a little bit of pockets here as well on the sides which is really awesome here in the bottom we do have ac outlets we have a couple of usb ports and a and a c and we also have another house prong connection there which is awesome for all your connection needs in this ford bronco sport as you can see i love the blue accent sorry guys here we have a little bag here in the top we got no sunroof we got a kind of like a light gray headliner here as you can see this time a huge fan because this does get a little bit dirty especially if we got an off-road I mean, if you got an off-road theme that should be like this it should be a little darker or a little bit of something that would be cool because obviously this can get dirty pretty easy as i've uh, had experience with my ford escape but a uh, really cool interior now here in the bottom i'm about 511 there's a little tight the seat is quite far sit back but i uh, I still got plenty of headroom here. This has got the uh, Safari roof, so you got plenty of head here in the top. As you can see, we got a handle here, light here. That's about it. I would definitely get the sunroof on this one because it really looks really nice on this on the, on the uh, Ford Bronco Sports. Gives a little more light, but uh, really cool, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this interior. I think I like it. it's plenty roomy. It's about the same size as a Ford Escape. So if you're used to those, this is basically the same size as that. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get to the front. Now, as you can see, we got the same type of material at the rear, but this is a much more softer material. That blue accent really nice, looks nice. Now, it's going down here, we got a bit of more softer material here, as you can see for your elbows, control to your windows and mirrors. As you can see there, we got a little more storage space your pockets here for a couple of water bottles your speaker and checking out here got the bronco sport logo there as you can see now coming here to the inside guys you can see those awesome uh, seats really nice the way these are really tough feeling material this cloth is fantastic i really prefer cloth seats here in florida because they don't get hot as hot as leather seats in the summer we got the blue accent there with the ford bronco or linen border here in the seat which is really cool a little bit of a i don't know what that is but you can see guys really nice the way this is we got the nice, really nice feeling steering wheel as well the steering wheel did get upgraded for the 2024 as well has a little more quality leather as well on this outer banks and the balance models as you can see we got basically hard plastics here on the top with a really unique pattern here in the little bit of the way that is so controls here for your lights and all that stuff here manually adjustable tilting and telescope and steering wheel as you can see guys but really really nice and i like the bronco sport as you can see the logos on the floor mats there as well so all right let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, get really inside nice the way this is really nice ergonomics i kind of like the dash design it's different than the ford escape and kind of similar in terms of to the uh for example ford maverick but this is kind of in some unique styling like see we got those area 50 blue blue accents there as well on the door and the seats here as well really love the way this sits and this was fantastic i really love the seats plenty of visibility as you can see really nice visibility all around it the hood is higher for example than a ford escape as i mentioned before but it's just really cool the way this is we have of course come here we got the block box which got plenty of space here as you can see there are plenty of that stuff here very unique the way this ac vents are kind of shaped as you can see really cool eight inch screen here as you can see there but before we go on let's go ahead 
ahead and get this Ford Bronco Sports Tire. We're gonna put our foot on the brake. As we have the key with us, just hit the engine start stop button and get everything started. Let's go ahead and straighten out the wheel. Yes, my door is ajar. We got a little bit cool graphics here, that off-road graphics that this Ford Bronco Sport gives you there. As you can see, that's pretty cool the way that is. But before we go on, let's go ahead and then we already got the engine warmed up. Let's go ahead and hear this two liter engine rev a little bit. That's pretty good. Cool. You can't barely hear the turbo. But uh, it's a pretty good sounding engine nonetheless for a four cylinder. Uh, let's go ahead and put on our seat belt and because we're going to go in a stretch off in just a few moments. And let's go ahead and close the door. Now let's go ahead and uh, start up here. We got a bit of a light gray headliner here. As you can see, we got a place to put your glasses here or your sunglasses. We got a couple of lights here. As you can see, that's basically not much basic thing here. I guess if you have your sunroof, you have your controls here for that. Uh, basically, you got a rear view mirror, as you can see. It's still kind of brand new. We got a lot of things here kind of hanging on. Coming down here, we have your 8-inch SYNC 3 system. This is kind of your base system. It's got audio, no navigation or anything like that on this one at all, which is kind of interesting, especially in the bottom lines. You may have to option it off. Uh, I'll put that information for you guys up on the screen. We got apps here, as you can see. This is kind of a Wi-Fi integration, and it's kind of a bit, a bit slow right now, as you can see. It got, oh, there we go, mobile a device. And, of course, we got settings. You can do all types of settings. We also, we also have a little bit of ambient lighting here as well, if I'm correct. Phone, Bluetooth, sound, all that kind of things you can do. As you can see, general information, assist, automatic updates. This usually are uploadable with your either your phone, app, or by the air. This does have a regular six-speaker base system. doesn't have the bang and also system we can also get. Which doesn't sound too bad at all, actually. Um, I don't see any bang and also little details on the speaker. So this has got the base system over here. So I mentioned we got a little more storage space here on the bottom. You start up engine, all your manual controls here for your for your radio. We also have a camera button here, as you can see. The we also have a front-facing camera as well. And we got oh, kind of between 60 degree cameras, not too horrible, not too bad. It doesn't have all around cameras, uh, but it does have a front camera and we also have a rear camera. If we put this thing in reverse, as you can see, the rear camera does operate there. We got trajectory lines. You can also zoom in a little bit, as you can see with a button there, go back. And we also got multiple angles. And that's kind of more of a little angles through way here, especially when you're going off road. But uh, going back to park, as you can see, there we go. All the buttons here, we got your hazards, all the little cool. This is cool the way this is to control your AC vents. So I'm gonna head and start and uh no 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 so there we go just in general so here we have basically base stereo now this one here no. so it's come over your base ford has not updated this to the uh, sync 4 system yet i'm sure they're probably gonna update this for bronco sport probably in 2025 if i'm correct uh get a little bigger screen and stuff like that something that did is similar to the new 2024 ford escape with the bigger screens and all that stuff so this basically you got a real base system here we got six speakers on this girl Sounds pretty good. Not bad for the base system, if I'm correct. I don't think this has the Bang and Olsen system uh, update. But as you can see, controls basically all manual controls here for your stereo. We got the camera here, as I mentioned. Uh, we got the front camera. We also have a rear camera as well. As you can see, we got the trajectory lines, and you can zoom in with a button there and just have a little bit of different angles here. As you can see, they're same for the front camera as well. Put this back in park. And as you can see, we go back to the front camera and we can do also the same angles here on the front, which is pretty cool. Now, coming here, as I mentioned, this is basically still for system or sync 3 is still not the 4a i uh, hope ford probably gonna redesign this ford bronco sport later in the future uh give a little more bigger screens and a little bit of update for this generation now coming down here so much we get a little more cubicle here for to put your things here your phone or stuff down here we got a single zone ac as you can see we do have also seat heaters here for each front seat which is really cool i'm going to turn on the ac because it is a little warm even though the temperature this morning was around 61 degrees here in Florida or 61 Fahrenheit, which is pretty nice and cool. It's going to be a little cool down this, this coming few days. But there we go, guys. Got some nice AC coming. Let's go ahead and shut the camera down. Uh, other than that, guys, we got a couple of USB ports here on the bottom, a 12 volt connection. I don't believe we have, we have no. Um, I got my phone here. You can definitely put your phone here, but that does not have any type of wireless charging. I don't see that at all here. Uh, a little more storage here on the bottom. Of course, right here we got your A speed automatic, your little dial here for your gears. Cup holders here on the side. Here we got your parking brake. We have your um, automatic hold here when you come to a stoplight. Down here we have your goats or go over any terrain modes here. As you can see, we got seven modes in there on this one here. Uh, we got normal. Let's go back this way. We got echo, sport. We got slippery, we have mud and ruts, sand, and 
rock and crawl so as you can see guys plenty of off-road abilities to this one especially with the right suspension and the trick differential this one has so i'm gonna leave it let's leave it on support and see how this behaves and we'll go on from there we'll switch it also here of course you got your hill descent we also have basically you're locking your all-wheel drive we have also stability off and we also have your locking rear as well on this one so, so as you can see plenty of off-road capability and if we raise this little um, leather uh, basically uh elbow rest here you're gonna have a little more storage space and a couple of usb ports as well here so plenty of connections here we also have basically three four connections here usb connection one here one here in the middle and one here for your back passenger so plenty of connections here coming here to the center screen as you can see well first the steering wheel feels fantastic now ford did say for 2024 they upgraded the leather especially on these badlands models in the outer banks they have a little bit of better quality you can definitely feel it's super smooth and you have a little bit of stitching here as well so for the updated here we have a little bit of aluminum trim with a black accent your four bronco logo here coming here to the middle we got basically a seven inch screen here for the off-road information we got of course all kinds of dials and things you can do meters for off-road we got a digital speedometer there as well beside your analog gauges for tack and speedo gas and gas and basically your your um temperature gauge here we also got intelligent all-wheel drive which basically sees how the power has been distributed tire pressures all kinds of information here to see full economy all kinds of things calm screen as well uh radio stations and then we'll go back to the off-road but plenty of information for this uh for this ford bronco sport as you can see we also got a bit of a blue accent there as well here in the this top ford is bronco cool. sport. let's go ahead and put the r little dial on the on drive and let's go ahead and check out and of course we got the automatic hold. so once you come to a stop that little here if you want to for those who don't know this automatic hold is much i prefer this one instead of the engine turning off so if you go to a stop that you can just let go of the brake and the car will hold now once the uh, light goes green you can just go ahead and press the gas and the car will automatically release the brake which is a really cool feature i prefer that than the start stop thing to be honest with you so Checking out this Ford Bronco Sport. I really love this thing. This is a small SUV with a lot of off-road capabilities. Now, I wish I can take this off-road, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a car borrow for Bronco Sport. It's pretty decently clean. And there's really no, unfortunately, there's no off-road places here where I can take it. We're here in the middle of South Central Florida and the only off-road will be going to the grass and that's about it <laughs> there's not much here at all there are some off-road trails here but i don't have anything close be my and i don't think they'll appreciate me getting this thing full of mud at least we're going to test this thing on road which is basically i would say at least a good 60 70 percent of what this four bronco sports are going to be driven are basically on the road uh so this one here 250 horsepower 277 pound feet of torque going through this now we can do a little bit of off-roading here now we're on normal we're on sport but let's check this is probably as much off-road as you can do and this one here and if we switch to the <laughs> let's go ahead and switch to i would say slippery but i would say not modern ruts we're here in muds as you can see we got the front camera activating and we can kind of go here and have a little bit of fun uh but that's about it. This is much off-roading you can do in this one's here. This is pretty cool. I mean, obviously, this has a lot of good tire, plenty of abilities to go off-road. Let's put this back on. As you see, it's pretty cool. As you can see, once we are on the modern ruts, it kind of shows you, once we go off the graphics here, we got your off-road graphics. You show the steering wheel and the kind of an angle we are. That's pretty cool. And you got a front camera there to help you out as well. That's a really cool feature that this one has here. But let's go, guys, and bow back two we'll go back to sports and then we're kind of in now of course we got off-road tires it's not any type of way of sport tires but this is i mean that's why i love about this thing it's so too many capabilities and you can put it on sport and just on regular surfaces or go off-road and put it on a really slippery surface or uh you know mode that you can definitely help you out so pretty cool the way this Ford Bronco Sport is not for the price of we're just over $41,000 for this Ford Bronco Sport I think it's a pretty good deal to be honest in terms of uh, you know considering the prices of SUVs today this is not bad a lot of off-road capability plenty of power I think so for this little bit of engine now we gave a little bit of gas here I'm not gonna floor it but the torque comes on strong and this engine does not feel by any means that is missing part it's got plenty of quickness to it to be honest with you that's why i love this two liter engine it's one of the ford's best little engines especially something like this this is weighing around 3700 pounds so it's not super heavy weight but it's no lightweight but for an suv this type of capability 3700 pounds is pretty light to be honest and the brake system 
brake's obviously brand new brakes it's only got a few few kilometers on it or a few miles on it so i'm gonna pound on the brakes and it's still being um, mended in there so i'm still breaking in those brakes but it's got good feeling the pedal feels fantastic good progressive pedal plenty of uh, feedback and it does give you confidence as well i mean i haven't really pressed them hard but you can just tell off bad that this has got a good braking system hope you get the light because we didn't get here on time to uh, to trigger the left hand arrow but very guys really cool the way this is i'm gonna skip in the line here so very cool this system as you can see it's holding right now for me to weigh that on then we just press the gas and go and if we get a little bit of a ump here of course we got that oh with a little bit of torque steer there now this thing goes pretty nice it goes nice it got plenty of power easily gets up to speed very easily a lot of good torque i think my two liter engine in my ford escape doesn't produce as much power to be honest here but such a smooth riding SUV, even for this off-road suspension, it does feel a little stiffer. You can definitely feel this is much stiffer, a little bit more stiffer than the regular Bronco Sport. I drove one about, I would say about a couple of months ago, you might see that review on my channel, it's the Bronco Sport. I think it was an Outer Banks or, a, or one of those, I forgot the, you know, the trim I drove, but it wasn't this one at all. This has got much more power, uh, and of course the capabilities off-road are yours much more better. And in sport mode, of course, it's going to keep you the reps up, keep keeping the higher gear and a little more ready to go. And you can see guys, a little bit of acceleration here. This thing just goes. It's got good power. Stability right now at this speed is really good. We're doing 62. The thing feels solid. Does not go anywhere. Does not feel nervous because of the suspension. It's got a really good feeling on the road. This is awesome. In the, now, as you can see, the hood here, we got a little more hood. You can definitely see this thing much more than in a for a Ford Escape. It's much more lower hood. So this is you know, got good visibility. You feel higher. Uh, got good rear visibility to the rear mirror. Got plenty of visibility to here to the mirrors. Of course, we got blind detection. I, I forgot to mention, this does have all Ford's, Ford Copilot 360 things. Blind spot detection, you know, monitoring. We got, of course, a adaptive cruise control as well. And all kinds of lane assist, you know, all that great technology that Ford is giving you and all this. Oh, we're ready. Most every, every new car has all this type of technologies that help you, you know, rear avoidance, rear backup, help, all that kind of stuff. So really cool the way this is. So, but this does handle good. It feels light on its feet and it's got good, you know, of course, the four-wheel drive pulls you really nice. I think this is probably more a front-wheel drive biased four-wheel drive system, but I think it just works fantastically. It's a very, very smooth power plant uh, in terms of this transmission, the engine super smooth i really like this ford bronco sport the balanced even though with this off-road a little more aggressive off-road tires it's still a very smooth ride much more nearly not much wind noise not much tiredness not at all actually to be honest so it's a very quiet actually a pretty refined ride considering this is a uh, the more uh, capable off-road bronco sport with the with this package and the off-road tires but there's really not much more i mean we're doing just about 60 miles an hour very quiet uh, a slight wind of wind noise, but that's expected, you know, with this little more squared as should be. But uh, really nice. Let me know what you guys think of this Ford Bronco Sport Badlands. I mean, obviously, for 40, about $42,000, you're looking at a pretty capable off road as should be. Plenty of uh, space, plenty of power, pretty fuel efficient as well. At this engine, probably gives you low 30s in the highway. Uh, and also, it's in a pretty good vehicle. So, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you guys started liking this type of videos, guys, thank you for watching. If you have been through the video all the way up to here, guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You guys, uh, you know, give me a like, give me a comment, see what you guys think of this Ford Broncos, Ford Badlands. Uh, I love the color, really nice color, the way this uh, desert sand color is. It kind of really goes well with this theme of uh, off-road SUV. And uh, let me know, guys, in conclusion, you know, fantastic SUV, uh, plenty of verbal capabilities. As I mentioned, gas mileage, power, room really unique interior unique kind of way this is uh kind of it's in class of its own there's not really much in this type of segment especially in this size that gives it this type of capability and for about forty two thousand dollars it's not a ton of money considering today's prices and suvs and trucks all right guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2020 ford ford bronco sport and i'm gonna see how this handles here a little bit then we got a green light which is kind of rare I always get lights and this thing yeah this thing's got some good candling it feels light on his feet for sure and yeah it does turn in pretty good in this engine it's got plenty of torque i'm barely touching it maybe 25 percent and as you can see this thing just goes thank you for watching guys have a fantastic afternoon and we'll see you on the next video take care bye bye and happy new year as well 
if I don't see you, if I don't get another video out till next year. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.